हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग Good morning to one and all. I extend my warm welcome to the training program for faculty and staff of NIRDPR. Organized by NIRDPR administration. Today we have Dr. Yandamuri Virendana, Indian novelist, eminent speaker, and director amongst us as chief guest of the occasion. May I now take the privilege to invite the dignitaries onto the stage? I invite Dr. G. Narendra Kumar, Director General NIRDPR, onto the dais, please. I also invite Sri Shashi Bhushan, BDG in charge, Dr. N. Srikant, Registrar and Director Admin. And the Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Yandamuri Virendanath, onto the dais, please. Our Director General to present a bouquet of flowers to the Chief Guest, please. Thank you, sir. I also request our Director General to present a memento and shawl to the Chief Guest of the day, Dr. Virendana, please. Srikant, Registrar and Director Admin, for the welcome address, please. Andarki Subodayam, good morning to all of you. Respected DG Sir, Respected DDG Sir, and Respected Chief Guest, Dr. Enamuru Vinananath Garu, and esteemed colleagues, and staff who have made all this possible. Today's is a great day for NIRDPR <clears throat> because uh, we are witnessing a person 
who has written more than 100 books, not just in uh, Telugu literature, and also most of his works are translated in English, Hindi, Kannada, and Malayalam. I was reading a book, Five Steps to Success, Vijayani Gaidamitlu, in 1997, written by Sri Ennamuri Viryadhanath Garu. At the time, very much, I was very much inspired by that book. Since then, I wanted to meet him, but the, today the day has come to meet him in flesh and blood and attend to his lecture on success as well as emotional intelligence. If you see the success, that is the front end, but the reason behind the success is emotional intelligence. That's why the, these two sessions, we felt they are very much suitable for today. <clears throat> Besides, I read Venello Adapilla, Antramukham, who are, which are written by him, and they are worth reading by any person who has literary taste. Essentially, the first chapter in Antramukham, this is a, an English novel translation, that is Insider, if I'm not wrong, Albert Camus, uh, is a masterpiece. The first chapter narrates how a person's inner feelings will be when he is he's on the deathbed. Sir, I wanted to read Tulsi Dalam also, if the time permits and the God uh, allows. Uh, we at NIDPR salute you for building an ashram in Kakinada with a view to teaching the importance of education to tribal students at free of cost. It is heartening to note that you motivated around 40,000 students belonging to uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe and economically weaker sections of the society in Andhra Pradesh. Sir, we at NIDPR, we also do social engineering. We are proud to have you among all of us. Sir, we are very grateful to you to accept our invitation and have come all the way to NIDPR, though you are run having running fever and body pains. On behalf of NIDPR and on my behalf, and I, ex I extend a warm welcome to you, sir. With these few words, I hand over the mic to our director, uh, Deputy Director General to give his another letters. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Srikant. A respected DG sir, uh, our guest and, and eminent speaker, Dr. Yanda Muriji, and uh, our esteemed faculty, our officers and staff and participants of the training program. Uh, so this is a good start to Monday first session, uh, let us hear from the expert. And as I came to know uh, that he has earlier worked for five years in State Finance Corporation, and then he worked for uh, Andhra Bank for 10 years and then he is a practicing CA. So, uh, at the, um, apart from his regular work, he writes books and we look forward for the guidance uh, from him and uh, we all are learners and the whole life we spent in learning new things. So, uh, hope that we will gain immensely from this lecture. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I request our respected Director General, Dr. G. Narendra Kumar, to deliver the keynote address, please. speaker today. I would like to thank you sir for taking the time to come here to address our officials today on the concept of success and emotional intelligence which are two very important topics uh, for any institution and more so for this institution. Sri Endamuri Vedanagaru made is a celebrated novelist in Telugu. <clears throat> Those who are non-Telugu speaking uh, may like to know. I also had the fortune of reading some serials. I think some of his novels were serialized, maybe one or two editions, not such an avid reader of uh, fiction, but I 
to having read some a few serialized novels, which are very good, very pleasing, very <coughs> insightful and innovative. And uh, today he is here to deliver lectures on the concept of success and emotional intelligence. Uh, as I was mentioning, these are very important topics for any organization and more so for uh, organization for the National Institute of Rural Development. And at this juncture, I say at this juncture because India is going through uh, an inflection point in terms of its development. The recent budget 23-24 of the Union government noted that India moved uh, five places from being the 10th largest economy in the world to becoming the fifth largest economy in the world in just about 10 years, which is a very, very significant progress. So we managed to move one place up every two years. And uh, with that movement, we managed to get ahead of the United Kingdom, which was our tormentor, our occupier, and one which dragged down our development very substantially through several centuries. Today, we moved ahead of that country, the United Kingdom. And another five years, we expected to become the third largest economy in the world, just behind the United States of America and China, which will also be a very significant achievement. So hardly any country I know of is able to move so fast in terms of the uh, increase in its economic size and uh, other attributes. So that is a measure of success for this country. Of course, there have to be many other measures to, uh, to assess the success of a country. Likewise, there have to be many measures for the success of an uh, organization. I worked sometime a few years back in the cabinet secretariat as the joint secretary in the cabinet secretariat. And we started a new division in the cabinet secretariat called the performance management division to see the performance of various ministries and departments of the government of India and the attached bodies under these ministries. So we managed to put together a performance management system in all ministries and departments of the uh, government of India in a very short span of time, about six months or so, we put together this system called the Results Framework Document System. At that point in time, we spoke about what is called as success indicators. What are indicators for the success of an organization? One key aspect that we spoke of at that point in time is that most of the organizations, the people seem to be getting excellent gradings. Their performance reports show that they are all 9 pointers, 9.5 pointers and so on and so forth. At the same time, if we look at the press and uh, reports in the press, there's so much, there's criticism about the government, about those organizations. So then, one of the points that arose is that why is it that people are so excellent and doing so well, but at the same time, organizations and the government is criticized? Obviously, there are different parameters for the success of the organization and for success of the individuals. Individuals together make the organization but not fully. There are certain other elements which make that organization. And we need to forge ourselves together and put together a system that leads to effective success, not only of the individuals, but of the organization as a whole. That's something that we need to ponder upon, the concept of, concept of success, not only for us as individuals, but concept of success for the organization as a whole, concept of success for the government as a whole, concept of success for the country as a whole. And I think we are in a unique and I would say privileged position to be in this organization, to contribute to the success of the government, to be able to contribute to the success of this country. Because NIRDPR, as you all know, works as a think tank for the ministries of government of, of the ministries of government of india including the rural development ministry and the panchayati raj so we are in the business of giving them 
ideas, workable ideas on how programs for the benefit of the poor and downtrodden can be improved, how new programs can be brought up. That requires constant work, constant celebration, keeping pace with latest developments in this country, latest developments abroad and contributing to the success of these programs and through that contribute to the success of the government and the country. Not only we work as a think tank for the ministries of the government of India, but we also help various functionaries who are there to deliver the programs for the poor and the downtrodden in the country. And working for programs for the poor and downtrodden and ensuring their success is a very difficult thing. It's not easy because a well-educated person, a well-motivated person, a resourceful person, the way he would deal with life and a person who is underprivileged, who is poor, who is demotivated, how he deals with life is very difficult. So we have to infuse life, the functionaries whom we train, in, have to infuse life, infuse a winning spirit into this poor and downtrodden to be able to succeed. Because they have experienced poverty and they have experienced disadvantage not for one generation but for several generations. They experience such disadvantage for several generations that they become fatalistic to say that life is like this only, it cannot be changed. This is how it will be. And once they assume a fatalistic attitude, it becomes extremely difficult to pull that person out of that morass and to even dream of success. So we deal with that kind of people through the trainees that we train in this institution. It is therefore necessary that we ourselves have to be full of energy, full of ideas, full of purpose to be able to infuse to our trainees who in turn will be able to contribute to the success of this poor and downtrodden. This is how we meaningfully contribute to the welfare of the poor, downtrodden sections of this society and through that contribute to the success of our society. And I think that hardly any organization or people in the organization have this privilege. You can be earning a crore of rupees as a soap seller as they say, uh, MBA graduate working in a company, but at the end of his or her life, if they look back to see that what is it that I have contributed, only helps companies make a little more money and little more money from myself, which has gone into the bank account and just keeps lying there, keeps accumulating there. Whereas people working in organizations like this, they contribute to new ideas, new programs, new ways of working and contribute to those who are underprivileged, downtrodden, bringing them up, working in extremely challenging circumstances to be able to bring success out of them. That is a key challenge. And that's a challenge that we are facing. And as I said, that once we do this, we design a good program which lasts for a long time. You know, we can design any program. It just comes and goes, uh, goes, just goes away in a couple of years. And that, that's not a good program. A good program should endure, should contribute, contribute to the welfare of the people and bring them up substantially. So the satisfaction of designing such a program, of delivering such a program, I think uh, it has immeasurable value. You cannot measure that value in monetary terms. And that's the satisfaction that we derive from working in this kind of an organization. With our true and full spirit, if we do so, I think when we look back upon our lives, we can always say with satisfaction that, look, I've been able to do this. I've been able to devise this good program. I've been able to deliver this good program. Through that, contribute to the success of the poor and downtrodden of this country. And I personally feel there cannot be greater satisfaction than that in life. So that's the opportunity of success that this organization gives each one of us. And we should not therefore turn away from that opportunity of success. We should therefore be plugged fully into this opportunity, play well with this, not only make 
the poor downtrodden and the country successful but ourselves also successful and um, other topic that uh, mr nabur biran now is going to speak to you i'm sure in much better way than i am able to express myself is about the emotional intelligence we all know about the importance of intelligence quotient about how uh, analytical minds are measured uh, in terms of passing the je examination neat examination or mba entrance and so on so these are all highly analytical people and that's how we measure the intelligence quotient but we don't look at how people can work together and that's what is the emotional quotient understanding our own self better understanding our weaknesses strengthening those weaknesses gelling with others to be a strong entity as a whole and that's what i think contributes to success of the organization and emotionally balanced entity group of people who can contribute to the organization that's why i say that when you talk about measuring the performance of individual senses disconnect with the performance of an organization it's not the individuals singly who make the organization group of them they come together and how they come together how they emotionally connect together understanding each other's weaknesses reinforcing each other's weaknesses and taking forward strengths to contribute to success of the organization therefore these two topics i think are very integrally linked and uh, mr endamuri virinath can i mean there can be no better person than him to throw light on this and uh, i thank him for coming over to nird to motivate our staff throw light on these two important subjects and uh, i'm sure we'll all benefit from his talk and he presents this in a very interesting and delectable way the, the great novel is that he is and uh, i uh, also would like to take this opportunity to to congratulate all the staff who have completed their probation and uh, dr srikant our registrar in charge thought it fit to recognize their achievement in completing their probation in sincerely working for the organization and taking forward their careers i uh, i think they all deserve our congratulations and best wishes so with these few words i'd like to take uh, leave thank you Thank you, sir. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the chief guest of the day, Sri Virendranath Garu. Dr. Yandamuri Virendranath is an Indian novelist and screenwriter known for his works in the Telugu language. He wrote around 70 plays, novels, and personality development books that are translated into Tamil, Kannada, Malayalam, English, and Hindi. He is State Sahitya Academy Award winner. His book Vijayani ke Aayudh Metlo in Telugu holds an all-time sales record of 3 crore rupees. He delivered motivational speeches in India as well in Australia, Singapore, Tanzania, Indonesia, US and UK. Many of his novels have been made into motion pictures in Telugu. He directed movies with Megastar Chiranjeevi, Vijay Shanti and Ramya Krishna. His 30 films include Abhilasha, Challenge and Jagadeka Virudu Atiloka Sundari. He directed 7 television serials and won 3 Golden Nandi awards. His Kannada film Vennello Adapilla secured film fair award. His Telugu film Oka Vuri Kadha won Best Regional Film Award from the President of India. In an opinion poll conducted by Andhra Jyoti in 1982, he was one among four most popular persons of the state, others being Sri N. T. Ramara, Director Bapu Garu, etc. He built an ashram near Godavari River, a one-crore project to teach tribal students free of cost. He worked for five years in State Finance Corporation and ten years in Andhra Bank in a senior executive position. Dr. Virendranath is presently a practicing chartered accountant at Hyderabad. Now I request Dr. Virendranath to deliver his lecture, please. Thank you. <clears throat> My speech today will be different. Don't expect a normal speech. Virendranath, can I see no other? You are younger to me, so very young time. Me, when did you chop up the potato and leave them? Why are you not clapping? Yeah. 
those who are not clapping are not doing some i mean anything in their house right now this some life ne chala comfort zone lo not it success means appreciation you have to appreciate your children first when they get a first mark or so when you are when you when your child comes and says that i got first rank oh thank you that's not the case you should hug her or hug him and say oh i am so proud of you really first rank this is called appreciation are vacha cheppu nanu okka like boy na untundi tinis potam that's not there i am 76 years old now at the age of 76 i came here because these people will pay me some amount that amount goes for food to the my poor students at kakinada that is one reason the next reason is somebody somewhere here they may receive something from me and become something different there are two reasons for this mainly actually i came yesterday from kerala why not and i was suffering from fever and body pain see when then i came in the country one of you may get influenced by this mira mai tabuchani nu chakra what did they want to tell is amair kuda ante ooti antar honeymoon ki they go to ooti for honeymoon or husband they will be so jubilee and they will be talking talking he she says okay 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 this is not good this is first point success means recognize and appreciate the others when a speaker talks there are so many speakers here i suppose when you talk when the people clap you get inspiration next point is one of you come here onto the stage i will give a small gift do you don't come ah thank you sir both of you come here come fast sir enakar gochina thondra ran meer kada aina thondra ran this is what i talk to the students when i talk to the students i ask them like this nobody will come let us suppose i ask them uh, your qualification sir english msc subject library science bsc bjc what ni geology can you what is the difference between phylum protozoa and periphera see <laughs> entire the name kelimes mollusca annelida arthropoda and chordata you know it you know it what is the difference between petal and a sepal what is what is meant by catalyst in chemistry no no let us suppose i ask these questions he says i don't know you are so so okay it's okay <laughs> let us apply ask them what is 2 plus 2 four so he will get a gift if i ask him what is archimedes principle when a body is totally or partially means the liquid it loses some weight which is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced is called archimedes principle he says i don't know sir when i ask him what is 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 2 oh oh your wife is here eh? okay so if she knows the answer she will get the gift if she does not know it you don't get the gift what is that he is going to lose by coming here nothing so that is success 90% of people don't try for anything they are in the comfort zone tinna va padukuna va tella illa thank you sir any photo sir photo thank you sir thank you sir you got this paper with you what is success the butterfly effect is there the heading my speech goes till 10:00 am 11:00 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 am i failed in my 6th class i failed in my 7th class because due to pampering by my mother's father my father you know entha mandi telugu raadu chethu kattandi telugu raani vaadu chethu kattandi telugu raadu chethu cheyala ichara you know telugu chala chala aata so try to understand andar navina tu nanu cheyi it is the best a speech should be like this hitam priyam antar first take the audience into your gulf 
ਹੁਣ ਕੀਤਾ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਮੰਨਦਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਧਿਆਨ ਕੇ ਰੱਖਣ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਮੋਟੀਵੇਸ਼ਨ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਬਟਰ ਫਲਾਈ ਅਫੈਕਟ ਯੂ نو ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਅਲੀ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਸੇ ਅਸਰ ਨੋ ਯਵਨੀ ਤੇ ਵਿਅਕਤੀਗਤ ਆਰਥਿਕ ਚਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਐਟ ਅ ਕਨਸਟ੍ਰਕਟਡ ਵਨ ਸਰਸਵਤੀ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਇਨ ਕਾਕਨਾਡਾ ਇਹ ਸਰਸਵਤੀ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਐਟ ਅ ਕੇਪਿੰਗ ਰੋਡ ਐਟ ਅ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਯਵਨੀ ਤੇ ਚਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਕੁਆਰਲ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਸਾਊਥ ਟੂਡੇ ਐਟ ਨਾਲ ਬਿਟਰੇ ਜਪਨ ਯੂ ਡੂ نو ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਅਲੀ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਐਸ ਆਰ نو ਯੈਸ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਅਲੀ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਮੁਸਲਮ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਰਾਜਪੂਤ ਡੂ ਯੂ نو ਦੈਟ yeah he established his grandfather established one fish business rajputs are purely vegetarian some sect of some sect so they objected then he changed his uh, religion from rajput to muslim so those people who have not uh, if they would not have objected they will not have been a pakistan so small incident changes our life that is called butterfly effect that is the heading today my speech let that may change one of you that is my intention my grandfather was uh, a deputy tahsildar so he does not know he only knows how to pamper children so i failed in my sixth class and seventh class when i was in my seventh class he expired and i came to my father so that is called a butterfly effect when i came to my father he was a very poor man very very poor man that's why he asked to me to stay with his father in law we were six people we were very poor people very poor people so i didn't go to barber shop since past 50 years to save one and a half rupees for cutting and i don't apply coconut oil because coconut oil was a costly item in those days. I am not glamorizing my poverty, I am telling the facts. So he taught me every day, half an hour, how to study well. Then I, I passed my intermediate college first. But then I did not have money to study engineering or medicine. That's why I studied BCom because there is no fees for BCom. For B.Sc. you have to pay chemistry lab fees. For B.Com, not necessary. After B.Com, again, Kakinada PR College first. I do not have money to go to Dhamkao. So I studied C.A. C.A. is a four-year course and I completed it in three years itself. This is... No, I am telling you what is success. Success is not money. Success means determination and dedication. I will tell you about that. I will tell you certain tips about your kids. Do you want it? Yes or no? Yes. Those people who are not answering me, <laughs> shall I curse you? Can I say anything about Dara? But you can't get it. Be brave. No, I'm not going to get it. My son is a state ranker in 10th class, state ranker in intermediate. After passing intermediate with a state rank, I asked him to go for a job. He joined at the age of 17, Nagarjuna Power Projects, for a salary of 15,000 rupees per month. He worked there for three years or four years, and he completed his become honors in a evening college. Within these four years, he accumulated some money and went to Singapore to study his MBA. I did not spend anything for him. Then he is now 47 years old, and present salary of that boy is around 8 crores per year. for anam my my father stayed in a single bedroom house and now there is a swimming pool in his bedroom so if your children read well sky is the limit try to understand the concept how to read well how to be successful this is called butterfly effect now the next point is personality point number 1 what is success types of personality personality is a mask personality is derived from a latin word called mask a persona when born we are all born in the same type we cried we have certain mother's milk in the same passion but as we grow up one boy started walking at the age of 1 and another boy started walking at the age of 2 this is called personality difference 
Some people, as you, we all grow, some people are always smiling, some people are always serious. Some people are more angry, prone, some people are calm and quiet. This is all called personality. Some people stand like this, some people stand like this. Some people are always smiling, some people never smile. Some people clap, some people don't clap. This is all called personality. Personality is of two types, external and it is all written there. I want you to take this paper home and talk to your children. Do you talk to your children? Yes. Do you see serials? Saraswati. Life is this and what is success? Simple sentence. Success means smiling. As simple as that. Only one word. Why people don't smile, I will tell you afterwards. Smiling. Be happy. Not laughing. Smiling. Personality is of two types, external and internal. External means the moment you see other person, you will get an opinion. That is called personal, external personality. Can you give me one example? I will give a book. Chodagane or I will give you an example. Dressing. Second one. Approach means way of giving a shake hand. If that is the answer, that is correct. Come, take it. This is an English book. You are a Telugu girl or English? I am sorry. You are Telugu? Then I will give Telugu book. Telugu and English both. Because for few people who don't know Telugu, I will give this. This is English and Telugu both. Photo of the? Leda photographer? Success means helping others. Thank you. 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 Can anybody give me an example for internal personality? Behavior, attitude, aptitude, discipline, promise management, all these things. Are, you don't want to answer anything? Sir, cancel lunch for all of them. Cancel lunch. I'll continuously talk for till one o'clock and then this. Because they came only to eat, I think. Am I fat? Chapra, I mean, answer so. My son is elder than you. That's why I'm treating you like this. Chaptara Chapra. Chaptara Chapra. No, Japanese. What is success? When you go to a temple, particularly in Hyderabad and Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, the Archika keeps on Shatakopam on your head. There is called Shatakopam. Shata means six. Shat means six. Gopyam means Rahasyas. When you are going to a temple, on your behalf, the Archika is praying God, O Deva Deva, to the disciple, eliminate six Daridras. Eliminate six Daridras. Mada, Matsarya, Kama, Krotha, Lobha, Ahal. If these six Daridras are eliminated, and these things I have written here, six things on the paper, health, fame, love, Wealth, enthusiasm, and wisdom. If you have all these things, you are successful. Do you have good health? Yes. You are not answering me. That means yes. something wrong with this? No. Then why are you not answering me? So, okay. How much time do you spend for your health every day? Not even 10 minutes. No? If you don't spend for your health, you will become old at the age of 45 or 50. Promise on the Saraswati temple I have constructed 
I am 76 years old and I have never gone to a hospital till now. Never gone to a hospital. Good sleep, good food. Good food, good sleep. This makes you very healthy also. Of course, your genes play main role. Fortunately, I am healthy that my father's genes are good, mother's genes are good. But so many people I have seen always suffer from ill health. Health is of two types, mental health and physical health. Mental health means if you are suffering from anger, fear and tear, then you are not mentally healthy. Chenna chenna vishyar gada koro. Pradda vishyar gada koro. You have to weep for bigger things. What are the bigger things? When you see a beggar on the footpath in the winter midnight shivering, then you have to weep. When you see a bird dying on the electric pole, you should weep. When a green tree is chopped off, you should weep. Ante tapa kartik de pun serial to see ada koro. Health. And then fame. Fame is very important. Fame means somebody clapping for you. Somebody recognizing your work in your house or office or institution or your village. If you do not have fame, you will become lethargic. The moment you clap for me, I will get more energy. And you also will get more energy by clapping. Me Amma in Nargadek Salam and Adol, Emma, me Aina, want a bound, bound and pugly at the Kana in the they flatter you, they take it granted. So, this fame is very important, particularly your kids. If you have a girl kid, this fame is very important. These kids go through four stages. First stage is, I am not okay, you are not okay. Second stage is, I am not okay, you are okay. This is dangerous stage. Up to 14 or 15, your kids go into this stage. At that stage, particularly girls, they feel that, I am not beautiful. I am black. Boys. My friend is rich, he has got a scooter, I do not have this all. I am not okay, you are okay stage. Entire world is okay. My mother, when I am studying, she is watching TV. My father has not come home, he is enjoying in a club. Only me is working all these things. I am not okay, the entire world is okay. This is the second stage. At this stage, you have to support your kids for their success. For those girls who feel that they are not beautiful, you should tell them that even if you do hundred operations to your face, you will never become Aishara Rai. To become Aishara Rai, you should have faith. But to become Mother Teresa, it is enough if you have a good heart. Try to become Mother Teresa rather than trying to become Aishara Rai. Even now also some people are not clapping. Those people who are not clapping, their kids will never listen to you. <laughs> Fame. Then love. Third Aishwarya is love. Success key. Third ingredient is love. Do you love your kids? Yes. Do you love your Do you love your parents? Yes. When you love your child, you hug them. You kiss them. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. How are you expressing your love to your parents? Respect is a responsibility. When did you last touch your grandmother or grandfather? Or when did you last touch them? Do you ever touch them? Expression of love is most important. We don't do it. You ask your kid, to sit on the floor. You ask your wife to sit on the... If you ask your grandmother to sit on a chair, ask your kid to cut the nails of the foot. Take a photograph. 
laminate it, present it to the kid. When she becomes the managing director of TCS, let her put that cutting the nails of grandmother in her bedroom or his bedroom. That is called expression of love. Try to inculcate the habit of expressing love. As many times as you can, hug your kid, touch your kid. While your kids are watching you, touch your grandparents or your parents. That is called expression of love. Next is called enthusiasm towards life. Do you have enthusiasm towards life? When did you last swim? When did you last swim? When did you last go to a library? When have you gone with your parents to a movie? Only you and parents. This is not the prima facie. I am talking, giving examples only. What is the enthusiasm of life to you? Yesterday there was an excellent cricket match. India has won by one over Pakistan. And day before that, Australia was defeated by innings and 137 runs. This is all enthusiasm. I am not talking specifically about cricket. What is your point of enthusiasm? Have you ever go to library? Have you listened to music? Do you go to any place like a garden or anything that gives you that enthusiasm? That is, if you lose that, there is no success in you. And finally, and not finally, last but one is wealth. Wealth means buddhi that is there and desire. Do you go by your buddhi or your heart? Try to think this. Many people go with this, not with this. I will give you an example. Let us suppose tomorrow there is a small examination for your kid. Small examination. Today evening, his favorite hero's movie is there in TV. Will he watch TV or will he read for the exam? Your kid. Ah. This says, watch TV. This says, read for the exam. This is called Akal, Buddhi. And this is called Ichcha, desire. This is target. Many people, many of us, are guided by this, not this. When you are this and this tells the same thing, then you are called Nirvana Yogi. You will be always present. Very simple, madam. Let us suppose this is strong. This says, watch TV till 9.30. Tomorrow is the exam. So after 9.30, you can read for some time. This says. This says, anyhow, this movie is coming in this same TV after 15 days. Let us wait. I don't listen. First day morning show. Then after 9.30 in the night, this says, you are feeling sleepy. So let us sleep now and wake up around 4 o'clock in the morning. And at 4 o'clock when the alarm bells rings, it says, anyhow the exam is going to be at 10 o'clock. In 6 hours what do you read? Just sleep and enjoy. <laughs> so these people has to work with this. That is called target. This is called desire. This is the fourth Aishwarya. People who go with this is fourth Aishwarya. And then wisdom. Do you have all pens with you? Those people who do not have pens, please raise your hands. Take, open your pens. Open your pens. I will tell you, I will check your wisdom. Don't take life routine. Check, I will check your wisdom. You all have kids, you know, who are working for, you are uh, trying for a job or studying, students, yes or no? I am in the interview board for many companies like Mahendra, GVK, GMR, so many companies. The problem with your kids is they are intelligent, they read well, but they don't have wisdom. What is the difference between wisdom and intelligence? I am going to tell you today. It's very important. After going, this, this test is not for you. This test is for your kids. I will tell you one thing, sir. Please believe me. To get a salary of one crore is easy. To get a salary of 50,000 is very difficult. Try to understand this. For 50,000 salary, there is a lot of competition. For one crore salary, there is less competition. 
What is the difference between a person who gets 50,000 and who gets 1 crore? I am going to give you today the demonstration. Keep your pens ready. Point number 6. Success and wisdom is the heading. Keep your pens ready. For wisdom, you have to have 8 things in life. First is called knowledge. I will ask you one thing. There is a film by name Unchai. Unchai. Who is the hero of that film? Yeah, tell me. Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah, please come and take them. Both of you can come. There is one song, Dollar a Dollar Man, Dollar a Dollar. Which film? Please come. Devdas, come. Photo, photo, go on. You want photo? Come here, this way. This is all called knowledge. Pokri cinema lo hero yoro? Friends. Ah? That is called knowledge. What are the six countries touching Indian border? Pakistan? Bangladesh? Who can tell? Who, who will tell? Pakistan? Bangladesh. There is a simple trick MBBS. M for money, uh, sorry, uh, Myanmar, B for Bangladesh, uh, B for Bhutan, S for uh, Sri Lanka, and uh, Sri Lanka is not touching. Oh, not touching. Okay, and uh, Pakistan, uh, Afghanistan, and uh, last I think Nepal. If you consider Pakistan occupied Kashmir is also ours, then only the Afghanistan comes. Otherwise, Afghanistan is not there. This is called knowledge. Now, the question is, tick the correct answer, you will get a beautiful gift from me. According to 2013 survey, in which state there were greater number of accidents? Andhra, please don't reveal the answer. For example, Telangana, Chandigarh and Orissa. Five. Those people who are not answering, I will curse you. They are not answering. 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 They are not According to 2013 survey, in which state there were greater number of accidents? Andhra, Telangana, Chandigarh, Orissa. Next is called intelligence. What is the difference between intelligence and knowledge? Intelligence means getting an answer by using your knowledge. Let us suppose, for your kids, there is a lesson. The eldest son of Dasiratha is Rama. In the examination, they asked you, what is the name of the eldest son of Dasiratha? And your kid has written Rama. Then he is knowledge you. Then the question is not like this. The question is, what is the name of the father of Rama? Then he says, it is not in my syllabus. <laughs> then he is not intelligent. When A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2AB, then B plus A whole square is also the same answer. When sin theta by cos theta into tan theta by tan square theta is 1, the same applies to tan square theta minus divided by tan square something something like that. So this is all called intelligence. Now this is a very good question. This question was asked for a salary of 1 lakh rupees for chartered accountants. One of the questions. Try to understand this. A shop owner gifts one chocolate in exchange of 5 empty wrappers. If you give 5 empty wrappers of a chocolate, you will get one chocolate free. You have collected 17 wrappers. How many chocolates do you get? No, no, no. Please, tick the answer. This is for a gift, sir. I want to give you a gift. You have to take this paper home, sit with your kids, ask them to answer that. Think differently. When an apple has fallen on the earth, crores of people have seen it, but only Sir Isaac Newton has got the doubt why he has got down, why it has not come up. 
and that is called think differently. There are ten crows, ten crows on a floor, down, one is dead. How many, don't reveal the answer. How many crows will be there on the floor? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, over. Next, the power of scrutiny. I tell you, this is the difference between a person who gets a crore of rupees and who, per who gets a lakh of rupees. Try to understand the questions. No question is very difficult there, all questions. But recklessness, lack of knowledge, lack of interest, all this makes your kids different interests. Different interests. See, next question. If Dasiradha is the father of Rama, who is Rama to Dasiradha? Such as, sir, may write line it, Idrano? You are not writing? You are about this, I think. Okay. No problem, sir. You take this, take your children, give them. At least. At least. Another five minutes and leave. If Dasaratha is the father of Rama, who is Rama to Dasaratha? Understand the question. Next is. What is the name of our present Prime Minister in 1984? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next is elimination of complications. There is a photograph here. Somebody asked me, whose photograph is this? I told him, Inka Bab Mera Bab Ka Beta Hai. Who is he to me? This is there are no brothers for me. I have no brothers. It is written there. This is called elimination of complications. Your children are going for a bank job. These types of questions will appear to you, to him. Answer Tersinati Ontundi Kanirado. His father is my father's son. Hyperactivity. This is very important. You are running along with three people. If you cross the last one, where would you be? If you cross the last one in a running race, where will you be? There are four answers. Last but one, last, first, second and stupid question. Reflex actions. Reflex actions means you have to teach them to kids. I will tell you one number. Can you tell me one alphabet? Three. Who said C? Somebody said there. C is correct. Who said C? Please come, sir. Take a book. Your Japara C? Randy, sir. Tamara, Randy. Japara. This is how you have to play with your kids. I will tell you a number. Think of an alphabet. And can you tell me the country starting with the same alphabet? One. Ah, who said America? Please come. This is the answers how you have to. Develop reflex actions in your kids. Thank you, sir. Photo. Pelalunara? Pelalunara? You don't have kids? Then you give to somebody else. This is a good book. Sir? Yeah. Now this is a couple who has got two daughters went to a movie. Each daughter has got one brother. In total, how many went to the movie? A couple went to a movie who has got two daughters. Each daughter has got one brother. In total, how many went to the movie? Take the correct answer. Okay? Now give the paper to your neighbor and take the paper from the neighbor. I will give the answers. You have to give the marks. If you get two marks, you are intelligent. If you get three, extraordinary intelligent. If you get four, above all. It's really good. If you get four, it's really good. Okay, have you exchanged in the papers? Don't feel shy. Feel like a kid. Now, the first question, if you take the answer like this, if the answer is correct, I have to give the marks to them. Those person who gets good marks will get a gift from me. According to 2013 survey, which state has got many number of accidents? What is your answer? You are not answering me. Ah, huh? the correct answer is Orissa, because in 2013 there is no Telangana and Andhra. 
And Chandigarh is not a state, it's a town. Like Hyderabad, it's also a town. So the only remaining is Orissa. How many of you written, please, Orissa, please raise it. Only... Oh, good, 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 good. Can you please, good. A shop owner gives one chocolate for three wrappers, five wrappers. How many wrappers will it be? How many chocolates they get for 50, 17 wrappers? How many? Please be jubilant, I say. Please answer me. How many? Nine, three. How many? Three. How many written three? Ragama. The correct answer is four. Because for three wrappers, he will get three wrappers. There are two wrappers already in his packet. Two plus three is one more chocolate. That is the answer. That is called intelligence. One of the ten crores on a floor is banged with crystal down. How many crores will be there on the floor? The correct answer is zero or one? Zero. What happens to the dead crow? Dead crow will be there on the floor. So what is the correct answer? One. What happens if the crows which are going away take the crow along with them? The correct answer is zero then. Let us suppose the dead crow is newly married and wife is weeping by the side of it. Then there can be two crows. The crows, if they are deaf, all the ten crows will be there only. This is called lateral thinking. Think differently. This is what you have to teach to your kids. Sit with them, play with them, question them, give them some gifts. If Dasaratha is the father of Rama, who is Rama to Dasaratha? Ah, simple question. You are not answering that also. What is the answer? Son. How many have written, please, son, please raise your hands. Wrong. One is Rama and another is Rama. See that. One is Rama and second is Rama. There is one extra A there. That is called scrutiny. Spelling mistake. Okay, but what is the heading? What is the heading? Power of scrutiny. Understanding the question. What is the name of our present Prime Minister in 84? The, the correct answer is Modi. Ask a Prime Minister ka naam 1984 mein kya tha? That is the question. Understand the question first. His father is my father's son. The correct answer is my son. Baap ka baap. Inka baap mera baap ka beta hai. Mera baap ka beta hai means my. Inka baap my ho. So he is my son. If you are crossing the last person in a running race, where will you be? The correct answer is stupid question. In a running race, you cannot be last. I mean, you cannot cross the last one. Either you should be the last one or you should be second from the last. How can you cross the last one? It's a stupid question. A couple who has got two daughters went to a movie. How many people went to a movie? The correct answer is two. Only a couple went to a movie. We are not concerned about the children of the couple. Now put the marks and give it to them. Anybody got 8 out of 8? Please come. 7, 6, please come. Along with your paper. 6. 6 is good. Please come, sir. Check it out. Please. Sir, 
my saraswati vidyapeetam on behalf of my saraswati vidyapeetam one gold coated saraswati uh, medal to this boy this one Now, do you want me to con- uh, tell you point number seven, point number five? Just go through it. Do you want that public speaking techniques, successful public speaking? How many here are motivators? I mean, do lectures here? Please raise your hands. Nobody. All up. All faculty. They are. They give lectures. so this fifth point is important for them if i am correct shall i tell them yes. how to speak in public yes sir do you require that yes sir yeah. but you are not answering me loudly yes yeah, sir yes yeah, sir what is this first is to give a speech you should be thorough with the nucleus what is that you are going to talk if you are not confident about the talking and the subject you will not be good at your speech first is nucleus and key noting as i have given this there are eight points on page number 1 that is called key noting take take each point and expand it that is called key noting time factor many many people have the bad habit of restricting the lecture let us suppose you are supposed to talk for 45 minutes exactly on the edge of 45 minutes you should close the subject and you should come to the end part of the paper some people leave some subjects some people don't uh, complete it faster than the time given to you time factor is most important the moment i came here under the stage i told you my speech ends at 10:30 you should stick strictly adhere to that then body language body language always show your hands don't be like this and body language should synchronize your speech aakasham bhumi anukodu bhumi aakasham you understand the body language then uh recall some people suggest that the, to rehearse yourself kangaru the tension will be there for all speakers before coming to the dais we are all not above it try to sit there till your name is called rehearse yourself what is that you are going to talk there are only 50% of good speakers all the other 50% are not they are not good a speaker should inject the subject into your brain he should be knowing that come i am coming to this initiating this speech how you start this speech mira telugu ranallu evaru unnaro cheyithile tandi annam కొంతమంది ఎత్తారు ఒరే తెలుగు వస్తే ఎందుకు ఎత్తారు తెలుగు రాకపోతే అన్న నవ్వారు దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ హితం ఫస్ట్ పుట్ ఏ జోక్ అండ్ ట్రై టు ఎంగ్ అప్ ది ఆడియన్స్ స్పీక్ టు ది అకేషన్ స్పీక్ టు ది అకేషన్ లెట్ అస్ సపోజ్ వాలెంటైన్స్ డే స్పీచ్ విత్ నక్సలైట్స్ ఇన్ ద కాండి మీరు నక్సలైట్స్ పిచర్ స్పీచ్ కి మీరు అందరూ ఈ రోజు ప్రేమించాలి 14th ఫిబ్రవరి అని మనుడు అక్కడ షూట్ చేస్తాడు వాడు పిచ్చిది మనం ఇంకో సబ్జెక్ట్ కో so speak to the occasion spacing spacing ekkada aagali ekkada continue cheyali enduku aagali why should you stop tarvata your center should be good i please grant me leave to go to my native place to see my ancestral property along with my wife anukodu to sell along with my wife anukodu antha bondu ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ మిస్ ఫార్చ్యూన్ గ్రీన్ అతని భర్త సారీ అతని భార్య నిన్ను పరమోపదించింది ఇట్స్ ట్రాజిక్ ట్రాజిక్ అనాలి అతని భార్య నిన్ను మరణించింది ఇట్స్ ట్రాజిక్ అనకూడదు సో దట్ ఈస్ ఫైనల్ గ్రీన్ అబౌట్ విక్టరీ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ అబౌట్ మిస్ ఫార్చ్యూన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ దిస్ గో టు పాయింట్ నెంబర్ సెవెన్ సారీ పాయింట్ నెంబర్ ఎయిట్ 
ब्रांड फॉर सक्सेस बेस रेपुटेशन अचीवमेंट नेटवर्क एंड डिविडेंड नेटल यू आर ऑल फ्रॉम योर सम सिटीज आई थिंक एट व्हाट टाइम द बॉय एंड गर्ल गो टू द पार्क इन द इवनिंग मेरे हमारे का तो नटी चलता है मेरे केस मेरे अलग बॉय उन्हें चिकने चपच कर दो एट व्हाट टाइम और ना बांग्रे अराउंड फाइव ओ क्लॉक दे गो आई थिंक टू इंद्रा पार्क एंड ऑल दिस फाइव थर्टी वेरी गुड अराउंड सेवन ओ क्लॉक और एट ओ क्लॉक इन द इवनिंग अम्मा यहाँ उन्हें दे व्हाट द गर्ल्स इज इंडिकेट बोल गले जब पे रहने पहुँचते हैं और जब पे अब डाबा यहाँ उन्हें दे व्हाट द बॉयस इज इनको जब बाय जब पे रहने दे जब पे रेडी पुस्तक है इसने पहले तो नाना मेको पर इधर नहीं पड़ा उसे वही सुना है फीस कब इतना नहीं तो जो रिलैक्स है नटना राड़ियाँ सुन इनको जो सेव बंदो कल्याणी आंटे लेदु सेकर ने एली पोवाली लेदु प्लीज कल्याणी इनको जो सेव प्लीज अभी ना जाओ छोड़ के ना फिर दिन बार आने का आओ सेकर वो चीन अपने चोच चोस्ते ना नो ना ना कल्याणी कल्याणी आठने वेट ना फिर बाद में कर दाम और एवं जिसको चढ़े मच गये नाउ एनीथिंग डू यू वांट मी टू एक्सप्लेन इज दिस इन इंग्लिश नहीं सर बिल्कुल तेरे को ना बाउंड टाइप करने in telugu this looks more familiar in english then he has seen the pimple here and warned her pimples your face is a full of pimples reduce fat my dear padma please reduce fat then she says for you i will reduce everything that is called infection at that time she says I will reduce everything for you and smiles. Then he says, "Who are you looking at? No, no, no. One chance, my face is in front of me, and one chance, up there. Flattering. First is, don't leave me now. Stay with me. Second is, reduce fats. Suggestion. <coughs> Third is, flattering. Your smile is good." Now Lord Yamathar Maharaj comes and sits between them. He says to Sekar, "I have to take one among you. Will you come or will you send this girl?" What Sekar says now? You are not answering me. This one more dada, Nenosta na dada. This one. What does this note tells? This says that we love ourselves more than anybody in this world. Otherwise. Unless it's an infatuation, or newly loved, new married, or otherwise, 99 percent we say we are selfish and there is nothing wrong. We love ourselves more. Now my question is, when you love yourself more than anybody in this world, how much time are you spending in a park alone, loving yourself? That is my question. Do you love yourself? Do you stay alone, watching plants, watching fish, watching aquariums, watching people? एलोन एकांत हूँ, that is first point. Second point is, आ गर्लफ्रेंड ने एक परिचय में six months आई थी, अपने यू आर गिविंग सजेशंस अबाउट पिंपल्स. How many pimples do you have on your face? Are you happy with your money? Are you happy with your health? Are you happy with your fame? Are you happy with your enthusiasm? Are you happy with your love? Why don't you rectify yourself all these pimples? And third thing is, when that girl smiles. You look beautiful. She looks beautiful, and you appreciate it. How much time are you smiling every day, alone? When you are alone, are you have a? Do you have a pleasant face? Students under the name of Tanante, brushes go on. Hey, Munda, after that, get ready. Hey, I am the power. Now, yes, super shiny. You, Mohan Joshi, Nikhe, Navrak, both are very good. You are a funny guy. They are good. Keep smiling. Sir, it is 11:30. We break for tea. Sir, dinner got up. Thanks, Reedu. Tea will be brought here. Thank you, sir. We'll come around 12 o'clock back.
Now, I request everyone to pray, break for the tea and gather back in half an hour for another lecture on emotional intelligence by our chief guest. Thank you.
I request everyone to get back to their seats for another session on emotional intelligence. Welcome back. May I now request our Chief Guest, Dr. Vyandranath, to deliver his lecture on emotional intelligence, please. of a positive emotion. If you are interested, you can underline that word serotonin. 
Serotonin is the neurotransmitter that releases in the brain when you smile. Cortisol is another negative neurotransmitter that releases when you are under tension. In many interviews, I found students to get sweating here, here, shivering hands, being thirsty. You have to be always present. The positive emotion, the best example is patience. Are you patient? Yes. The less you have, the more anger prone. One of the best stories I have written, I have written, I, I mean I have copied rather from an English book. It's one of the best stories. The story of an LAC agent about patients. I don't know whether you know a person called Rockefeller. He is like Adani now. In the previous century, there was a Karopati, multi billionaire by name Rockefeller. This Rockefeller never likes LIC because there is a tug of war between he and his wife. He says that after my death, why should my wife be happy? He told his secretary not to allow anybody to his chambers, any LAC agent. One day in the morning, his wife came and gave him coffee for the first time in her life. It was surprising, pleasantly surprising. He's in a good mood. On that day, particular day, the secretary applied leave. She has not come. <coughs> the temporary secretary does not know his condition about the LAC agents. So she allowed one agent inside. This agent was very, very bright, very, very communicative, everything is good. Then, within five minutes, he could convince what the greatness of LIC is. This Rockefeller is very much convinced and he signed a check for one million dollars. A check bet gone, other gichadu. You are fortunate because today my wife smiled for the first time in a good mood. Second thing is, my secretary applied for leave today, otherwise you would not have entered into my chamber. Do you know that there are 162 people who went away from outside? Then the LAC agent folded the check, kept it in his pocket and said, I am the person who came 162 times, sir. He not away and sir, and that is called patience. Patience is a must. Now, uh, leave it. Passion, passion is required for your work. And then, ability to communicate and spontaneity. What do you do if your gender suddenly change permanently? Can anybody answer this question? If you are late, you will be able to answer the question. You will be able to answer the question. Example Japan. This question was asked for a salary of 115,000. For engineers. You won't disclose, but whom do you marry? <laughs> Male or female? He question why did he my boss was there, we were three people. In the interview he asked this question because if unnecessarily some drastic things happens, how do you react to that? This question is meant for that. Some girls said we go for cutting, we change the dress and as a girl we have to go home before 10 o'clock, as a boy we can go up to 1 o'clock. All these answers were given. What do you say? Give me one example. What do you do if your gender changes permanently? Another, another, life, another, another? Half life. Four player. You want to be other gender? No, sir. You are, you are changed as a woman. Now what do you do? Any example is enough. You go to the kitchen or you come out of the kitchen for the first time. If you are in the kitchen, 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 you are in the kitchen. So, there is one girl from Narayanama College of Engineering, one of the best answers I have. Then that story was made as a film also. Sakar Kamurthi said that. What she said is, my 
father is a teacher till for 30 years he was standing like this and giving lectures so his legs are not okay every day morning 5 o'clock i heat up coconut rub his legs that's why he can come out of the bed if i change as a boy i will go running to my father and say daddy till now i was feeling sorry for myself if i go to somewhere who will do all these things me god might have listened to my prayers now i need not go to my illa's house i can stay with you till the end and rub your legs in jeppinand this is called spontaneity spontaneity success ki emotional management ki these are the reasons ability to communicate cutting a cake into eight pieces with three cuts can anybody tell me if you cut like this two pieces if you cut like this three pieces if you cut like this six pieces but if you are intelligent you can cut it to eight pieces with three cuts how without showing hands you have to tell me vertical ones two pieces then horizontal four pieces then cross six pieces Yes, sir. Don't show your hands. You are talking to blind people. They are blind. This is how you have to. Play with your kids in the house. Eight months serial pillow, happy they bunga da. Puzzles. Let us suppose you cut it vertically; it will become two pieces. Then you cut it like this, four pieces. You keep all the four pieces one above the other and cut it like this. How many pieces it will become? Eight pieces. Now, question is, selling a skill of a design. How do you sell a comb in Tirumala? <laughs> Mr. Jagan has given you a license to sell combs nearby that place where they cut your hair. Then, how do you sell it? These are success success tips. How do you how do you? And above the comb, we have to write Om Namah Shivaya, Vakate Swaraya Namah. And then you have to tell that if you comb with this, the child will become become more intelligent, ah, <laughs> huh? more concentration, concentration only for the time. Next, positive thinking. You can talk my personal experience with Mega Star. In 1982, we have given. a title to chiranjeevi mega star on his birthday aroju i am supposed to announce that on to the stage for the first time i went to the stage i was shivering rao gopal rao is one of the artists he was sitting beside me entra atla ipothunao you are you are shivering sir this is the first time i am talking on the stage i do not have experience era anubhavam lekapothe pedi cheskunnata try try and album go sanga dandi try for talking apadike uh, mega star mega star they are shouting then he said you see you have made a film with chiranjeevi rakshasudu a person who made a film by name rakshasudu are you shivering go do it 
think that Rao Gopal Rao is by your side. He is a Kshatriya. Take courage. Then I was coming from there to announce. There are 7,000 people in Madras. I was shivering. That negative cortisol was released in my brain. Mahajan Lara! This is what happens when cortisol is released in your brain. Now, that next point is very important. Already. Anybody can come? This is there on your page. Three friends have constructed three buildings in a compound wall. The Vastu man said he should have three separate gates. A should get, go from this gate, B should go from this gate, C should go from this gate. Now you have to draw three lines from A to A, B to B and C to C. The condition is, the lines should not join together, they should not cross. How much time does it take for you to draw three lines? This is called possibility thinking. If you think it is not possible, it is not possible. If you think it is possible, it is possible. Can you do it? Yes, sir. Yeah, please come. <coughs> If you draw like this, you cannot, you can never draw from B to B and C to C. These people are called third grade people. They don't work, they simply eat and sleep. They do not have any enthusiasm. These people are called Nietzsche Manava. <laughs> no, not me, Yenu Rashmana Kavi, Subhashtam. Aram Pimpalu Nietzsche Manava Nu Vigdhayasa Santra They don't start at all. They simply come, go. They have no enthusiasm towards life. Now draw from B to B, straight line. B to B, straight line. Yeah. Now A to A. Correct. Now you cannot draw from C to C. There are second grade people. Param Vinci Pariche Jinturu Vignayasturai Machimul. Second grade people. Got it? Very good. Now, first grade people, draw a straight line from C to C. B to B. A to A. There is a road. There is a road. Hmm. Ah. Dheeral Vignanaya Niyamana Lugchan Drutyana Tautsa Hulai Vairabdhaptam Rujjagam Purusani Vrijjani Dhil Kaunan These are the people who work like this. Bukkichana we call it. Thank you. Now, do you want me to tell you about uh, point number three, finance management? Yes or no? Yes. Sure? Yes. There is a difference between wealth
You have a car, you have given for taxi, then you will get money from that. That is called prosperity. Always prosperity creates wealth. Wealth spends prosperity. Do you understand clearly about this? You did not understand? Let us suppose an engineer is there, a computer engineer is there, he is getting 1 lakh salary. Immediately on getting the job, he goes for a 40 or 50 lakhs house. EMI will be around, around how much I don't know, around 40,000 or 50,000 per month. Then other expenditure will be 50,000. So for lifelong, he will be paying EMI for the house. Let us suppose he does not take the loan, but he invests the amount, 40,000 per month in a bank for three years, he will get around 3,60,000 or 3,80,000 plus interest on that. That is called prosperity. This theory is okay when you think that the real estate business, the rates are not increasing. But naturally, what our theory is, always invest in prosperity first. I will give you one example. In Masap Tank, we used to stay along with my father. We were six people. I was newly married. When I was uh, in my room with my wife, my father and my other children used to sleep near my kitchen and veranda. So I wanted to have a room, a house by myself. So my friend, who is also a chartered accountant, told me that there is a building, there is a plot, vacant plot near Banjara Hills Road number 2. You know why I am staying there. So I was going to purchase that. That is for 3 lakhs. In those days, when there was three lakhs. <coughs> when I was going from road Masap Tank to road number two or three, there is a burial ground there. Have you seen that Chetney Hotel burial ground is there? Yes. While taking the turn to the left side, I have seen one commercial complex coming up. Then I stopped there. Sir, how is that one? My friend, Dr. Samaram, his uncle. Is Samaram and this boy is in a view. His peer is Grant, Grant, I think. Mr. Grant, what is happening? Sir, nobody is purchasing this house, flats, because just opposite to burial ground. How much you are quoting? Sir, 8 lakhs. Okay, I have 3 lakhs with me. Take this. I have given 3 lakhs to him. I came back. My wife scolded me. You went to construct a house and purchase a plot and you have given for commercial complex. What is this? I said, wait, wait for some more time. Then there was a delay in construction of that commercial plant for three, four years. That is good for me because I do not have that much money. After four years, they had had it over. Meanwhile, one of my novels was a great hit, that is Tulasi Dhanam. And I purchased the same plot in Banjara Hills also and started constructing the house. This happened 82, that is around 40 years ago. During these 40 years, the plot which I have constructed made into a hotel by one of my friends. The hotel's name is Chitney's. That is Chitney's hotel. I am the tenant, for, I am the house owner for that upstairs, first floor. And he has paid me around 1 crore 20 lakhs till now, just by investing 8 lakhs. This is called building a prosperity first. If I would have constructed my own house, I would not have got that money. Always there is a difference between wealth and prosperity that is called financial. Yes. Then point number I, lateral thinking. What will you do on a stormy night? Point number one, lateral thinking. What do you do in a stormy night? Officially or unofficially, unmarried people. <laughs> boys, boys. Yeah. Shakti? Ma? Happy Kutu. Let us suppose you got a lottery. You pay for both, sir. That's a joke. Yes, sir. Huh? Birapa. You are from Karnataka. Okay. Okay, Prida. Birapa has won a lottery. He is traveling in a uh, sports Mercedes car, four crores. Ray, what? Who is your favorite hero? You? Nayantara. Nayantara is older than you, huh? 
టెల్మీ నకుల్ ప్రీత్ సింగ్ ఓకేనా ఎవరు కావాలి మరి ఎవరు మళ్ళీ మళ్ళీ ఇది రాని రోజు చేసింది కదా ఓకే నిత్యామీన ఓకేనా సరే నీకు ఎందుకు పెట్టి కాలేదు అర్థమైంది కదా సో హీస్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ హీస్ స్పోర్ట్స్ మెర్సిటీ ఓన్లీ టూ సీటర్ టూ సీటర్ సింగిల్ డోర్ There is a Tufani ki raat, heavy storm, andhere mein ap akele ja rahe, forest way. You are going in a forest, it's a dark night, Tufani ki raat, ap akele ja rahe. At that juncture, you have seen three people underneath a tree. Ek peed ke neche, three people ap dekhe. Khan, one is a old lady, 90 years old, suffering with asthma. She will die. if you don't take her to the hospital hospital ko nahi nahi gaya to mariyate honge and second is a doctor a doctor when he was 80 years old when you were 80 years old he has taken you to the hospital he has given his blood to you you are alive now because that man has saved your life ek to old lady hai mar jati second is a doctor and third is nayantara or who is that who is that nitya menan aapke baazu ek hi seat hai what do you do who will you take aap hi bolna why are you closing your eyes answer me aap dream mein chare hai kya you are going to your dreams 90% of people will take the old lady they will they are called manavata vadi humanists because that old lady will die around 9 people 9% of the people will say i will take the doctor because doctor is more important to the society they are called yadartha vadi realists and 1% is called avakasha vadi anichcha menan mali dorutunna dur kadu ani kan chese pote emanna avachu something like but lateral thinking says that because you know the doctor give the car keys to the doctor ask the old lady to be taken to the hospital stay in the forest in the rain along with nitya mainan till morning enjoy your life hera right? open your eyes over dream over good this is called lateral thinking now most important is anger management are you prone to anger yes or no yes, quite quickly quickly quite fast and you hit them somebody <coughs> why people get angry when their desires are not fulfilled simple the things are not happening as they want to that is called anger on whom you will get anger this is important ఎవరి మీద వస్తుంది కోపం ట్రై టు ఆన్సర్ మీ ఆన్ హూమ్ విల్ యూ గెట్ హస్బెండ్ వైఫ్ నార్మలీ కిడ్స్ బికాస్ దే కాంట్ హిట్ యూ బ్యాక్ నేచురల్ సో ది ఫిలాసఫీ ఈజ్ యూ విల్ గెట్ యాంగర్ ఆన్ ద పర్సన్ హూ కె నాట్ హిట్ యూ బ్యాక్ ఐమ్ ఎ క్లియర్ let us suppose your director managing director or somebody register top man is scolding you what happens you can't hit him you can't even tell something against him manasulo em anukuntam eppadu kanna ru retire avapothava nee raagapothana appudu chuddam leda this is called ukrosham you understand ukrosham what is that english word i don't know ukrosham when you cannot express your anger you get to crush helplessness then you keep in a suitcase the helplessness roam around the entire world when you come across a person where you can open up you can open the suitcase and that is called anger am i clear clear now 
Let us suppose I will give you an example. One 40 years old man is, sir, listen to this, is interesting, sir, both of you are watching me. This is very interesting. Now, but my last question, I will tell you, I will tell you. Why do you say that? Why a 40 years old man, he is not good at work, but he is a very nice man. One day, his boss called him. He said, I am very good at work, but I am not good at work. How I am bearing with you? I wanted to commit suicide so many times rather than working with you. I am very good at work, but I am not good at work. Instead of you, I would have been more happy to work with an ass, ASS, ass owner. This man cannot do anything because he is the boss. So this man came home along with the suitcase. There is an ass here inside. His wife prepares coffee beautifully. But on that particular day, she has forgotten to put sugar into the coffee. मामूल टेबल है इधर कमला डार्लिंग पाते सोच रहा हूँ कि काफी आदत होता है क्या पढ़ते ना ये रोज मच्छ पे ये मोट बारे था मैंने बोला कहीं नहीं पुरुष सूट के सुन्दर था पाते सोच रहा हूँ कि काफी पढ़ते ना ये पुण्य छूटा है फर्स्ट आर इट सेम डे ना नहीं करना वो काट्टा काट दें जेस कुटे ना जीवित हम I would have been more happy if I married to an Atagadi there rather than you. You would have been more happy if I married to an Atagadi there rather than you. That's why I am the because it is husband. Now the suitcase is with the lady. This man after scolding her, I think that the donkey has gone out. So he is reading his book outside newspapers. Now their son came late. In the case of Indra, I was watching war posters. Mahul time was there, Kalu Jutra could come. But now the suitcase is with her. War posters was just there. We are tense and upper arm coating. Now the suitcase is with the boy. The father is reading newspaper. Mother is relieved of the anger. Now the boy is there. But he cannot scold his parents. Now there is a small dog. Very good to know. Dogs do not have suitcases. Immediate action. Adhidli, a mundhukadhilo paper chodho kottu wadu karchin. So if a person has got anger, the entire atmosphere of the house is spoiled. This is first anger concept. Now, how to overcome anger? There are four points. First is introspection. When you get anger, try to think, why I am getting this? First point. Let us suppose you are going. The anger is a reaction. It's not an action. The anger is a reaction for somebody's action. Or your own action. <coughs> Let us suppose you are going in SR Nagar, Sanjeev Riti Nagar. Yanakali Chowdo Ochi to go to your shop. In the Kota Ran area. In the Kota Ran. You Mohan Kotila on the left foot. You look like a donkey. That's why I have it in here. You are shocked at first, ain't he? My face looks like a donkey. Sure. But it was just, sorry sir, if your face does not look like a donkey, sir. Your face looks like a crocodile, sir. Upward quote, everyone. This is called negative bliss point. Negative. A point is there where you forget that you are a human being. Bhutra matra to, phone is right to, all these things happen after you cross the point. Up to that point, you are a human being. When you come out of that anger barrier, you will become Rakshasa. This ring has entered into his eye. When you remove this, his eyeball came out. Blah, 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 blah. The blood is coming. You are shocked. Then, two people came running. They said, Sir, this is Aragadda. See that mental hospital boat. This boy is from mental hospital. Now what happens to your anger? Within one second, it changes as Jali, Karuna, Prayama, Apyayata, guilt feeling. How much time it has taken to change your perception? 
hardly one second. If you can withhold for one second, that is called introspection, Atma Parasilana. The entire concept will change. Just when you are angry, withhold for one second, there will be something different. Second is consciousness. Virapa. Virapa, no? Virapa. Sir, Virapa, where are you? Yanakar Vada Injas Nadu, Yanakar Vada? Message Bombish Kutta Dargo. What do you feel now, Leda? Virapa, let us suppose next year you are married. After seven days of marriage, you promise to your wife that you will come early from the office, five o'clock, you go to your temple, okay? <coughs> after, that, after that, go to a movie, okay? After movie, dinner, okay? And you can't get it, right? Okay, now, if things go like this, nothing happens again. But unfortunately, Around 4 o'clock in the evening, his friend called up and told that from America, some friend has come, he has brought, brought in. Guy and cock the yellow, 6 o'clock, we are all sitting, please come. Now he has to choose between wife temple or friend and cocktails. What do you do? Now, around 6 o'clock, when you are leaving for the, we have taken a decision and you are leaving, your boss called you and said that, Apparently, I wanted to give you promotion. So to complete this work and do, it will, may take two hours or three hours. Now you have three options, doing office work, going to temple and hotel, or along with friends as coach. What do you do? Life is like this. That's why you get anger. Sir, white shirt and color. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Last one at day? Promotion? Yeah. But me, Amma, I make Warren Rosa in the main to go to Chimamal and Nami. She believed you and came. He wrote a promotion to me, they've been given to me. They're not in Gayla. Gayla, you know, you may be correct also. Promotion this one. Promotion this one, second set of food. After this party, I will go to the wife. No. Okay. Okay. No. My concept is not that. My concept is, when he goes to the temple along with his wife. I will go to the temple. Why I married? I would have been so happy. All my friends are enjoying in Grand Kakatiya. I am like this. He will not get any punyam. He cannot enjoy the movie along with his wife. He cannot enjoy the food. First point. Gender point. He goes to Kakatiya for friends. He leaves wife and then office. After one peg they start weeping. Some people. <laughs> Why you came today itself? I lost my promotion for you. He is not enjoying the drinks. He is weeping. You are in the office of Panjas. 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 Where are you going? You are in the office of Panjas. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. So what to do? To control your negative emotion, you have to have three people in you. One is a public prosecutor, another is a defense lawyer, and third is a uh, judge. The public prosecutor should say, as he said, you should get promotion. Money is more important, fame is important, go for promotion, leave that with The defense lawyer should say, the girl came only seven days back. This happens every day. You get, if you are worth it, you will get promotion after one week or so, after one year or so. Go. With the, go with the temple, go to the temple. Like this, there is a tussle, there should be a tussle between public prosecutor and defense lawyer. Then the judge has to take a decision. Once you take the decision, forget about all the alternatives. Put your brain and work and enjoy happily. This is called 
not hard work. I will explain that. Yantar ni na time twelve forty fifty na. Ika time dika. Many of you parents, you do a mistake. Emotion. I will tell point number five. Amygdala and thalamus. See the point. Point number five in page number two. Emotional management. Amygdala is a small fruits like this here, and thalamus is here. All people, all people. Or thalamus and amygdala oriented, with different ratios, 60-40, 55-45, 70-30 like this. Try to understand the concept. Amygdala people are more emotional. Thalamus people are more non-emotional. I will give you an example. Let us suppose a boy, Virapa, newly married. Hmm? After three days, he came from the office. Your wife, Telachari got to go, white sari, Manipur got to go. She is waiting for him. But she said, white sari, Jasmine, he checked out. He is amygdala oriented. He is like, what is it? You are like, my body, my God, 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 my God. Amygdala, what is it? He is like, he is like, he is like, She has forgotten to put salt in sambar. Like it, but it put it in front of it. It is not going to be able to do it. It is not going to be able to do it. It is not going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. Now you have to decide how is your life partner. He is habitual oriented and thalamus oriented. My suggestion is, when you are in a negative situation, use thalamus. Don't exhibit your anger, fear and all this. When you want to praise somebody, go with amygdala. That is the theory. And finally, my suggestion to you is, there is no nothing called hard work. Many of you, jeevitan lo paikara wala ante hard work chera wala. Never utter that word in future. What is hard work? Tell me. When does your work become hard? When you don't like it. So you are telling your children, don't like education. Work hard. Don't smile. Work hard. What is this nonsense? Try to understand my concept. Work is the Education is the most enjoyable thing. I have worked for 35 films. I was cricket captain in my Muntas College, Marakpet. And above all, everything, education is the best. Vidya Nibhuda Gupta Magu Vittam Ropam Purushalikin Vidya Yasas Bhogakari Videshi Bandhudum. Alati Vidya Nibhutkoni. Why you say hard work, hard work, hard work? Coming here in the morning and talking for three hours, is it a hard work for me? No. I am smiling. I am enjoying. Why hard work? Sometimes, sometimes it will become hard work. Let us suppose you have to go for shooting. It's heavily raining, the umbrella. We have to go, climb a hill. Bah. That is hard work, for one day only, not lifelong. When your child is in first class, you say, do hard work. Eighth class, don't smile, do hard work. Intermediate, do hard work. Don't smile, hard work. You should say, education is the most happiest thing. Otherwise, they will omit it in the exam. They want to digest it. That's why they have forgotten Archimedes, Newton's first law. Everything they have forgotten. Tables, 23 into 9, 207, 23 into 8, 184, 23 into 7, 161, 23 into 6 is 138. All these tables they have forgotten because they are read for only exams, not for jnana. Let us suppose you have gone to a five-star hotel. And order for noodles. After eating 50% of the noodles, the waiter came and said, How is that, madam? You said, It's balance. Noodles are like this. My husband never cooked like this in my house. <laughs> huh? Then he said, Namaste, Amma, there is a mistake. The China fellow ordered something. He ordered something. Both appear same. So I interchanged the plates. What you have, sagging, sagging noodles is not noodles. 
they are boiled earthworms. They have eaten till now boiled earthworms. And that boy is eating noodles. What happens now? You feel like vomiting. Oh no? You will feel like vomiting. Then how is that America that boy is eating them, Chinese boy? That Chinese boy's mother and father said, boiled earthworms are good, they are tasty, so eat them. That's why he is eating them. Your mother said, <coughs> they are not good, so you are vomiting. If you said education is a bad thing, hard work, they will vomit in the exams. If they say education is very good, Pota Merungulun, Pasara Pupa Padangula, Jupuna, Divaka, Ethel, Jebuniku, Nanagawa, Kamuna, Kamuna, and Radri and Bowl, Marukuna, and Kuyu, this is all about education because my throat is not working properly. Education is the best thing, don't say hard work. Let us suppose how many of you played cricket in the early stages of life? We played, we used to tennis ball, we used to go out of the village or town. Or one team wins, one team defeats. Then we all come home like this. All come home. Here, winning is not important. Playing is important. Like that, studying is important. Passing is the examination is only bonus. Studying is enjoyable. Like that, you have to educate the students. Now, 11.30. There are four types of stress due to mismanagement. Urgent and important, not urgent, not important, urgent but not important, not urgent but important. So, can you give me one example for urgent and important? I have 15 minutes time. Huh? Yes, sir. Can you give me one example for urgent and important? Easy, very easy. You are not interested in answering or you don't know the answer? Huh? It should be urgent, that means abhi karna hai and important also. Abhi jaru karna hai, kya hai Yes sir, going to brush room, yeah. Next. Best example is going to your marriage, your own marriage. Time pe jana hai, you have to go on time and you have to go. That is urgent and important. Urgent but not important. Going to movie. You have to go means by 6 o'clock you should be in the theater. Even if you don't go, nothing will happen. Third is not urgent but important. That is very important. Not urgent but important. What is that? Doing tomorrow's works today itself. Paying electricity bill last day tomorrow, pay today. That is C. C is very important. And D, not urgent, not important. Whatever we do now is a, that only. Not urgent, not important. Watching films, gossiping, sleeping, talking unnecessarily. So an intelligent person will always keep C vacant. Tomorrow ka kaam aji kata ho. He always keeps a C. Tomorrow night is the last time, last moment for paying electricity. He pays today itself. He keeps always C vacant. Because from anywhere, any work may come to A. Let us suppose today evening is the 5 o'clock is the last payment for your electricity bill. You want to pay it by 4 o'clock. By the time 2 o'clock in the afternoon you get stomach pain. Then your current is gone. So keep always C vacant. When you do that, no tension at all, no emotion, negative emotion at all. So eight also have completed negative emotions due to hard work I have said. Then there is one interesting point for negative emotions. Point number two, main point, reasons for negative emotion, fearing for the society, Subbarashmi love story. Subbarav and Gangaram. Have you got it? Anbada Japara Meru. Have you got it? Yes sir, Nabada Japara. Pona Amani. Huh? Alishme Natna Rana Papa. Matadi Matadi. He Subbarashmi loved one person called Subbarav. Then, 
Gangaram also loved Subrashmi. When Gangaram proposed to Subrashmi, Subrashmi said, I am already in love with Subbarao, I cannot marry you. Then that Gangaram went away. That Subrashmi and Subbarao were marrying. He opened the knot, tying chase it up, suddenly he got heart attack and he died. Subbarao. After Subrashmi to Jushindi, he found Gangaram there. Hey, Gangaram, come here. Will you marry me? She said, yes. Then, please come and sit here. Now, what is your opinion on Subrashmi? Please tell me, what is your opinion? He is practical, cruel, inhuman. My question is, huh? task oriented. So, it is okay for you? Task oriented is okay for you. Chapatanga and Gushani, okay, Namiku. Any rose and Tarat of Subrashmi Jeskute, okay, Miku. After thirteen days, after one year, your brother just goes for the day. Tiny Chalaman was here. Chalaman is society on the moon by birth. Attipon to body, calm in the Kedapate. Nagin Dabdagal is under the go. The other is a poch with the dragon. We live for the society, don't live, live like as you are. First point. Now, Mohammed Mother, don't that is called gentleman syndrome. We negative emotions, okay? Gentleman syndrome is most dangerous. Chalam and the mothers, Pilanta in your therapy, Manchimadi Ram, you are a good boy. Please go and bring sugar from the Kirana shop. To go to Kirana shop and bring sugar is his responsibility. He need not be a good person to bring sugar. If he coops the hair of his sister, then you can say, good, you are good. It's not his responsibility. Try to understand this concept. When you do like this and ask him to go for sugar, his neighbor lady also will do this and bring sugar for me also. Then he will bring that is called gentleman syndrome. At a later stage, what a market that see cheap funds guarantees on competitive other world. He cannot say no to anybody else. Understand? Live as you want to live without any gentleman syndrome. Any questions till now? I am going to close it. Another three minutes is there. <coughs> what of time, sir? You know. The brand is naked. Nail kucho chadli. Amma question on that? Are you ready? Subrashmi. What is Ashmi? 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 What, don't, don't worry about the world. Even if you are Mother Teresa, there will be critics against you. Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, people wait with this way. Don't live for them. Whatever you feel good, do it. People One month, I'm sorry, Vishwam. My parents are searching for a doctor. I have to marry him. If you show him, one year throw the chanty. Okay, Anala, no Anala. Chapman Tondraga. No, Nin Jeskunta, Anala, Nin Manidra Chesko, Anala, what are not do? See, I am a clerk in a secretariat. But a doctor is going to marry you. So I want to sacrifice it for you. Go. Live happily under. Up to me, like I am a young man, eh? None color but for it lagi, ye propensional, ye shikti, vidae ledu. We have to marry. Anali and it's okay now. If you do, ye Taravata, we'll go in the corpus. She has gone away. She has fallen in love with another girl called Kalpana. I did three months around the chin of IAS officers from the chin. Yamai Chipin got a color but to colony, and then I'm a better but to go. Ye shakti where they live in the number. Pitcher Nagaye Saman was so turned over. Neither Pretty Jeskari, you put Japan, madam, 
కానీ పట్టుకోవాలో అవుతాం ఆమె నో చెప్తుంది ది పెర్సెప్షన్స్ డిఫర్ ఫ్రమ్ ది అదర్ పర్సన్ నాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ గుడ్ టు యూ ఇట్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ది అదర్ పర్సన్స్ సెల్ఫిష్నెస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో డోంట్ లివ్ ఫర్ అదర్స్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హార్మింగ్ యూ దట్ ఇస్ ద కంక్లూజన్ పార్ట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ Thank you so much sir we are glad to have such interesting sessions from you today thank you so much the audience are free to ask questions from the chief guest of the day So good afternoon. It's said the behest of the registrar I'm here. Because you said time management, he's trying to manage the time. That's why I'm called here. So the DG has to come. He has seen the anxiety in you and the registrar. I don't know. Oh, keeping my age, I thought that you would tolerate me. That's why he must have called me here. Uh, sir, I have heard you. Uh, I think a uh, number of times. Earlier also, at, when you came to NIRD, at that time I invited you, you came in, that is before Covid. We had a very interesting session at that time. I came a bit late today, thinking that the same lecture will be there. But I found totally different today. I think uh, the way you have conveyed, though we are all faculty, you said, do you lecture here? Yes, everybody lecture here. But our lectures will be very serious. But uh, what all you have talked is a very serious matter, but in a very different way. You said uh, you talk in a different way. I think that will go a long way. in all of us how to tackle the your serious sessions and try to see that you said one word inserting into the mind the subject so i think uh, we got lot of clues from your talk that how to insert very serious matters also into the mind moreover i have grandchildren many of our hand children i don't know whether anybody has grandchildren or not but today i have become a student to know many things from you how to tackle my grandchildren that's why because when so many youngsters are there to answer your points i deliberately did not answer something but i made a request to you to give me that book you were very cordial and you were i think uh, kind enough to give me that book i have just going through that book when you are talking you just observe me that i am looking into my mobile i was sending a uh, your photograph to my grandson that's where because i was sure i was thinking that i 
my, my grandson to reach it. I took a photograph from your book and sent it to him. So I was so curious that I should convey to my grandson immediately so that by the time I go home, he should ask me curiously what he was saying. So that he, the curiosity should come from him, as I learned from you today, to, to get an opportunity for me to talk about you. So in many ways, I think I have uh, yeah, learned uh, many things today. I hope that may be the case with everybody here. Uh, not only today, sir, I think uh, there will be many more occasions that we will come and talk different things in future also, so that we can all get benefited. Now, Risha, sir, said your time management. <laughs> I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> so, can I, can I know that uh, when our chief guest will be coming to give the prize distribution? Uh, from bottom of my heart, I thank you very much for enlightening us on many aspects. One very important thing is keeping control of the anger. Yes, in administration, anger is a common thing. As you rightly said, I cannot show my anger to my boss. Ah, she is a super boss. <laughs> she is super boss. Now we are at the age of 70. Now I am accustomed to it. Um, so that way I think uh, one thing is how to control your anger. How to prioritize the things is another thing that uh, we learned from you. For that uh, I, pro I profusely thank you on behalf of all the faculty for the excellent uh, I think the motivational speech we had and a very, I think it has a lot of psychological effect also on us. Hope that uh, all of us will carry forward the way we have dealt the session and the essence that we have taken and that will definitely help us in our, uh, I think discharging our duty is very effective. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now, I request a Director General to join us on the stage, please. Moving on to the next segment, we have distribution of mementos to the employees who got their probation period declared. I request our Deputy DG Sir to present mementos to the employees. I now call upon stage Dr. Jyoti Satyapalan, Professor. Dr. Ravindra Gawali, Professor. Dr. Krishna Reddy, Associate Professor. Dr. C. Kathirajan, Associate Professor. Dr. Maram Srikant, Associate Professor. Dr. Padapratim Sahu, Associate Professor. Dr. Venkata Rabibabu, Associate Professor. Associate Professor Dr. P. K. Sabrao, Associate Professor Dr. R. Ramesh, Associate Professor
டாக்டர் ஆர் சின்னதுரை அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டாக்டர் திகம்பர் அபாஜி சிம்மன்கர் அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர்
श्री के राकेश केतेकर श्री विकास श्यामराव एग्जीक्यूटिव असिस्टेंट इसके गायत्री प्रथा एग्जीक्यूटिव असिस्टेंट मोहम्मद रशीद एग्जीक्यूटिव असिस्टेंट श्रीमती डी अनामिता एग्जीक्यूटिव असिस्टेंट श्री सी एच बी एन कार्तिक कृष्णा एल डी सी श्री सुंदर चिन्हा डेटा प्रोसेसिंग असिस्टेंट डेटा प्रोसेसिंग असिस्टेंट श्री टी राघवेंद्र राव यूडीसी श्री वी श्रीकांत यूडीसी श्रीमती पी रमादेवी यूडीसी श्री सुनील कुमार झा डेटा प्रोसेसिंग असिस्टेंट डॉक्टर राजकुमार पम्मी
Thank you so much, sir. I now request Sri Manoj Kumar, Assistant Registrar A, to deliver vote of thanks, please. Good afternoon to all. I am here to give customary vote of thanks. At the outset, I would like to offer my sincere gratitude to Honorable DG Sir, DDG Sir, Registrar and Grant Admin, and heartfelt thanks to all the senior faculty members and staff on IDPR who are present here for the today's event. I would also like to thank Sri Virendran Ji for kindly consenting me to be our guest speaker at such a short notice and for the splendid two sessions on concept of success and emotional intelligence. Thank you, sir. My special thanks to all the officials involved in making all the arrangements to ensure that the event is successful. And lastly, I would like to express my good wishes to all the faculty and other staff for their provision closure and for their future endeavors. Thank you to one another. Thank you. That's all for the day. I request all the employees who got their profession declared to join us for lunch in Himachal district. Thank you.